Hi there! This is Mike of NewlyEnoughDice.com and this is Terraria. Um, you may have noticed, had you been watching this last episode, that I am no longer very far off to the east, uh, to, the, to the west. Um, I'm ever so slightly back home. Um, this may possibly have some do with the fact that I managed to get myself killed because I'm an idiot. Um, I did manage to gather enough cobwebs to make a bed, so I can now make a uh, a bed for uh, far off to the east, west, no east, east of that one. So I might as well just do that now. We'll need some wood. Turns out you can't make, there are certain things you can't make out of uh, wood substitutes like um, cactus. Uh, some things you can just make out of cactus. Like you can make benches, you can make tables, and you can make workbenches, and you can make things like that. But it turns out you can't make, say, a sawmill. And um, I wanted to make a sawmill, but you don't think you can. Um, I'm trying to work I've got my cactus without my person, I don't think so. Oh no, yeah, I've got, I've got tons of cactus now. Uh, yeah, so I, was, I wasn't I was able to make, um, well, again, I don't think so. I wasn't able to make, uh, I didn't have any wood, I, I just had cactus. Um, and in order to make the silk to make the beds, I needed uh, a loom, and for me to make a loom you need sawmill, and I had all the bits to make a sawmill, but it wouldn't let me make a sawmill because I didn't have wood, I only had, um, uh, unless I did something idiotic, which is entirely possible, because I'm an idiot. Uh, scrap chain. So I can make a sawmill out of wood. All right. Now can I make? No, I cannot make. There you go. You, it needs to be wood. It can't be cactus. But there you go. Although you can, obviously, you can make uh, some things out of cactus. You can make doors and chairs and chairs. Right. Where is that sawmill? I saw the sawmill, I saw it with my eyes. Oh, it's right there. Duh. So I'm going to take make sawmill. Uh, we're actually going to use the sawmill I already have, which is over here. I'm going to make a loom. And. Uh, da, da, what was the other thing? I'm going to make a bed. Um, do you make that? Do make that? Make that? You make that here, okay. Uh, so those things are going to be over to the side of the world. Uh, I don't currently have enough, um, Uh, let's see if I can find them. There we go. Tattered rags. I need two more, I believe, to make uh, a summoning thing. Uh, a goblin army, goblin army summoning thing, which is what I want because I want to summon a goblin army so I can smack up their horrible goblin faces in. Um, that's what I'm pretty sure I can make. I think 200 might be my limit, actually. So I won't go crazy. Put the chain back where I found it. Oh, 
Anything I want to make out of lead that I have not yet made out of lead. Oh, I've got so much tin I've wrapped around. I've got lots of tin. Um, I'm okay with weapons and armor. Make a bucket. You can wear buckets on your head. Buckets are useful. Lead doors. I'm not sure what lead doors. Um, what's good about lead doors specifically that is not good about um, Yeah, why why you want lead doors specifically? What, what, what's good for why that's good? I have the doors at my new base little, um, which I will show you in a bit. Uh, what can I make? I can make mining potion, increases mine to 25%. Cool. Illegal gun parts, which I can't get, I don't know. How to Sand gun. Mm. What else have we got that I might want to... I've got a piece of tin that I need to put in. Uh, unholy arrows. Thorns potion, but I need lots of things that I don't have. Well, yeah, I don't have stingers. So, unholy arrows are good because uh, they do more damage. That's sweet. Oop. What else have I got that I was interested in? Uh, I can make pink dye. Uh, cactus can make a variety of bizarre things. All sorts of weird things. Cactus piano. You can make a cactus piano. Uh, you can make a cactus sofa, which seems like it would be uncomfortable. Uh, you can make ice thing. Okay, let's just fly. Frozen slime block. I'm not quite sure I want to make that thing yet. Ah, uh, look at one keep already. Fling line. Oh, hellstone is definitely good. Because, um, rather to my annoyance, um, there have been no, um, there have been no meteor strikes. Right, okay. That's, thank you for that. Oop. Two. Jump this. And keep cactus. I'm not going to build things out of it. The outline mandibles. We'll go there. Eh, 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 eh. I'm sure there's something else I'm going to chuck in here. I completely forgot what it was. I'm gonna keep the worm teeth so I can make uh, unholy arrows. I find out when we make the arrows. Uh, I don't know. Where do we go? I think, yeah, I just lost that um, star because it didn't come in. So I'm going to have to travel off to the east again. Uh, I really must get around to digging that just long pathway. Uh, or find some other way of getting places quickly. Yeah, so I want to show off um, what I've got around to doing. Because I have in fact made uh, quite a lot of, um, I just did a lot of digging, which um, wasn't terribly exciting to watch, but it's kind of nice to sort of, look, this is what I've done. Now what I'm hoping to do is to get 
like two more goblin scouts to come and allow themselves to be murdered by me. Uh, because that way I can make the um, the goblin banner and then I can summon uh, a goblin army and then I get lots of spiky balls then I can go after the Eastern world because um, I not only do I have spiky balls but I do also have a oh, that's silver Uh, I have, uh, like I say, I've got, um, I've got a Vile Thorn, and a Vile Thorn is quite good for t dealing with Boil, It's quite good for dealing with your, um, your Eater Worlds, because it goes through many, many segments at once. And I can also be on the other side of a wall, but not that that matters particularly with the um, Eater Worlds, because Eater Worlds can just um, zap itself through everything. Yay. I have torches again. That's all cool. So that's my plan. Um, I'm, I'm at, I, I, I have demonstrated to my satisfaction that uh, goblins do come that far west. Uh, uh, in that one of them did. So um, I found at least one goblin scouts coming that far west. Uh, so really, I mean, all I really need to do is just kind of hang out, and uh, they should turn up. They should, they should come find me, and then I kill them, and then I take their tattered rag, and then I make a goblin summoning cloth, and everything is perfect for us. Oh, look at the lovely, lovely corruption. Mm, isn't it delicious? No. I'm prepared to let you live. If you do not try and kill me. No? Alright, fair enough. Okay. Gave you a chance. Really? Corrupting lots of desert, so I'm gonna have to do something about that. Oops. The oops was because um, you actually prefer to harvest um, you wanna you wanna harvest your water leaf uh, in such a way that in fact um, it is surrounded by water. Um, actually, I'll leave it there. Where's my bucket? There's my bucket. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't deeply enough uh, covered in water. Never mind. Uh, basically, it's because if you just harvest it as is, uh, you okay, sure, you get the water leaf itself. Uh, but that's it, you don't get any seeds, so you can't then make more water leaf at a later date, which you'll want to do. Uh, 
Yeah, so that's not actually my base, that's just a, a place I put together one. But I believe we're coming relatively close. I'll be that fun now, I think. Nice big tall trees. Yeah, I think there's another desert, and then that leads me to... Oh, there we go. That leads me to the base. Well, what is going to be the base? Um... Such a big long journey. Well, I'm a great big grown up Terraria character and I have access to mechanics and such. Just make, being able to make. Um, teleporters and, and all that kind of stuff. Just saves so much time. Oh no, there's actually quite a lot more to go. <laughs> Man, it goes on forever. Well, it's my own fault for creating a, you know, large world. Yeah, that's probably a pot I'm never going to collect, because I'm just dealing with all the sand would be just too much of a pain in the everything. Aggravating. For no good reason. I'm going to have another go. That may be one of those. I wonder if this is one of those things that's changed. No, that's something, something that's very different. I wonder if that's one of those things that's changed. Because um, I was getting water leaf seeds when they died, when when I harvested the leaves, the water leaf, and um, so here we are. Anyway, um, so no. That, yeah, I can right click on that, that, that doesn't count as housing because I, the, the background is still something else. Um, and basically all I've done down here is um, dug essentially along the length of the, yeah, just keep following the, the, the dungeon stuff around, um, came down here. Uh, and yeah, there's, there's some done some various spelunking. Um, I ran out of wooden platforms, so I built a lot of these things to get back up. But nothing terribly exciting happened um, until I managed to get myself killed. I can't remember how I got myself killed. Um, oh no, I do remember how I got myself killed. I was very arrogant, and I thought, aha, um, this must be. 
That's very strange. It's not there yet. Uh, I must be able to get down here into the dungeon because, you know, it's it's above the you know, the line where where the, the background is. Uh no, it turns out. Uh, I got I got completely um eaten by floating scales and heads. And uh, yeah, that's how I got myself killed. That's how I got myself killed. So it was my own goddamn stupid fault, quite frankly. Um, and I'm sure I'm sure all of you are very surprised that I managed to get myself killed by being an idiot. Uh, I'm sure that's completely news to you. That that's a thing that can. Uh, now I would like to make gray brick. Oh, I can make gray brick. Um, because actually I want to make grey brick, uh, background. Uh, grey, grey brick wall. Um, I can make wooden beams. No, I can make plank. Oh, I didn't need to do that. I can make... What do you need to make grey brick wall? To make grey brick? Oh, there you go. I can make grey brick wall. So I can make quite a lot of grey brick wall. So I'm just going to de-background all of this lot. And then I can uh, fill it in with um, grey brick. And then hopefully this will count, I'll be able to set this as a spawn point. And uh, wait for the goblins. Moving background is so much easier with the, the smart cursor, and placing background is so much easier with the smart cursor. It's not slightly ridiculous how much easier it makes it. Work. Select my where did I put the brick wall? Where did I put it? I put it there. Oh, cool. now so now's the time to get some wood. And wood we'll leaves. Um. See, now it's raining. You see. Water. Give me water to see. Um, now this doesn't mean that I'm, I'm, I might not know how to make how to farm water from here. Because um, I want to farm it in such a way that I get uh, the seeds from it, obviously. Uh, I have to wonder is has 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 the way water leaf ch works changed? Well, the last time I was just playing. What do you think, Demon Eyes? What do you think? How about you, tiny zombie? Seem to have an opinion. Uh, 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 uh,
the question is, can I farm the rest of the seed? I'm going to head back slightly closer to my actual base. Uh, I don't know whether it's simply you can, you can place them on any sand, or whether you can do it if it's sand in the rain. Whether that's the, the something that makes a difference. Very irritating. Cheerfully drop a mushroom. Look at the storm star. There we go. But I will, in fact, do it here. Yeah. I've made a bit of a one-way door here, so I can't actually open it for you that way, I have to put it away from it. Open the one-way door. Um, Did I use up all my stone? No, I did not use up all my stone. It was a ridiculous thing. Yeah. Uh, right, so I'll make grey brick. And then grey brick. Beds again. Oh, you come back here. That's murder you. Let's see what's going on up here. No, I'm not going to deal with the curse. I will get murdered. Not a lot happening. Apart from me hurting myself for no good reason. 
I'm not quite sure why, if there's a difference between a lead door and a door door, uh, an ordinary wooden door, uh, in such a way that makes a difference. Um, maybe uh, wooden doors, maybe lead doors can't be opened by zombies? Um, I don't necessarily going to be the case. I'm sure one day this is going to get old being able to do that, but not right now. Right now, it's just funny. Right, so I have not successfully worked out how to make beds work. I'm just pointing. Uh, what junk can I get rid of? I can make, I can make those wood platforms. I'm going to drop the cactus. Make various things out of boreal. Alright, so that's three up the slot. Uh, stone in. Keep the worm teeth for the moment. Oh, I've also remembered, um, I've, I think I've left my um, piggy bank way over the other side of the world, because I'm an idiot. Um, I think I put it down on something and then it's got to pick it up again. Uh, so I'm going to probably... Oh, righty then. That's what I want. So that's, this, is, this is me getting that for free. Um, well, uh, yeah, okay, let's see how long it takes to get here. Um, yeah. For beds function properly today, so it's form point must have enough space. The room doesn't have to be specific the area of the room so it also look, must be at least six up to less than seven to fifty. Ah right, okay. I might when I Try and do my my base on um, over that side. Uh, I probably I can block off some of that. The the big um, there's a big huge tunnel that shaft. I block that off with like wooden platforms and something like that. Anyways, there's nothing else in the room. There's not just a place uh, behind it. Back and forth, not enough. Oh, again. Yeah. So the main problem, the main irritants with um, Goblin Army are the sorcerers. But the rest of them do look like they're going to end up mostly falling into my contract. Looks like those guys, the peons. Uh, can jump to those pits, so looks like I'm going to want to dig a pit then.
doing a lot of spiky balls. Do you know if it's two seconds? There we go. Right, so the goblin pit is basically working. Oh! They can just break doors. That's just like the activator. Like I said before, it shouldn't be called the Vile Thorn, it should be called the Awesome Thorn. Happy birthday, oh, got it. Death to the Goblin Pit. So, okay, so, but, oh, bloody hell. You can just kill my door. Maybe that's why I want their doors. Oh, leave my empty shit alone. Goblin Pit of Death. Oh, stop breaking the doors! Thank you. 
Maybe lead doors cannot be broken down. Where's that come from? Oh, maybe they can. Oh no, he just didn't. He's an idiot. Oh, he's got Golden Army has been defeated. All that remains for me to actually murder them all. children. Uh, yeah. One successful goblin invasion. Um, how much money have I got now? I don't know how much of that two gold... Oh, I didn't actually, like, chuck everything into a... into a... piggy bank like what I ought to have done. Uh, but I have now. I had to say, I think that went rather well. So I now have more money than I used to. And I have one way doors now. And possibly most importantly of all, I have got many spiky balls. I'm going to eat your souls better. Great. Uh, tuck lead bars back in. See, I don't know for a, uh, 172 spiky balls. I don't know for a fact that spiky balls um, are going to do what I want. Um, I think, I mean, yeah, they're, they're, they're going to be good for, for dealing with. I hate it when I do that. I do that every so often. Yeah, so uh, if I just liberally um, sprinkle spiky balls on the bottom of my arena, um, that should uh, help me fight against the evil, nasty, horrible, and in all ways uh, deserving of doom. That's pretty much yeah, pretty okay with that. Most of the stuff I chuck into there, I really want to chuck into there. So. Um, grab seeds. Gonna grab some seeds and put them in my seed thing. Oop, there's more seeds. Okay, seeds. Should make some plant pots. Start making, doing things with seeds. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, I do hope you've enjoyed it. And um, do feel free to like and subscribe uh, if you've been enjoying. Uh, you can also find us at nearlyenoughdice.com, which is our role-playing game themed podcast and blog. And we have new episodes. New episodes are going to be going up uh, very soon in the next couple of days. So please do join us there. Um... What else was I going to do? I was going to chuck stuff in the piggy bank. There you go. 24 gold, that's not bad. Yep, that went pretty well. And um, until we meet again, don't forget to dig for victory! Oh yeah.